Shalom Israel, this is Bishop Nathaniel. The Israelites have been scattered across the four corners of the earth, as prophesied in Deuteronomy, the 20th chapter. Here in Israel, united in Christ, we need your help to recover the remnant of our people, teach them the gospel. Please help us, support us, and join or donate to the Booster Club today. Shalom. Shalom Israel, most in Christ blessed. Another 15 minutes with the captain. My name is Captain Barnabas and on my right. Soldier Kenaniah. So the topic today is a perilous time. You understand? And by bringing up the scripture, you're going to see where I'm going with this. You understand? Because many brothers come in the truth and feel like this truth is an easy walk. You understand? But they don't know the danger what they have to cross before they can say, you know? Because many brothers coming to the truth five, six years, and never go to no trial, no trial at all. You understand? I feel like it's a cakewalk. So we're just here to show brothers and sisters at the time uh, the, 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 the things what set in front of us as a people to get on the other side. So the first scripture, what I want, give me that 2 Timothy 3, verse 1. 2 Timothy chapter 3 and verse 1. This know also that in the last days perilous times shall come. So this is the last day. So Moses said in the last days, perilous times shall come. Why it is the last days? Because we see our brothers and our sisters been rising up as the people of the book. You understand? That's why we know this is the last days. You understand? Because before, what we know ourselves as, we know ourselves as African-American, Jamaican, Trinidadian, Puerto Rican, these are the things like that. So we know this is the last days. So the things what we as brothers and sisters have to go through, we have to set our mind for it. You understand that we don't, you brothers and your sister understand the scriptures and know about the scriptures. When your trial came, you're going to be outside the door. But the first, could give me, give me Philippians 1 verse 20 and read up to 27 real quick. Real quick. Show me brothers and my sisters what's going on. In the book, the same book what you have in front of you. This is what we're going to read out of right now. Come on. Philippians chapter 1 and verse 20. Mm -hmm. According to my earnest expectation and my hope. Mm -hmm. That in nothing I shall be ashamed, but that with all boldness and always, so now also Christ shall be magnified in my body. That's what we're supposed to do. We're supposed to have that type of mindset. You understand us, brother? But just because we've never been taught this, we first we come through the door, maybe we're looking on the TV, and we say, okay, for real, let's, those brothers sound right. Many of you come in. You understand? It's that where the French is on the bottom blue, but the, the things what's supposed to happen, brother, you don't understand. You understand this is what the most I said when you come, you have to prepare yourself for the things what are gonna go. So we're gonna bring the scripture out for you, brothers and your sisters. You understand? understand. So when it comes to your door, you understand. So, okay, this is my day. You understand? You, you're gonna know how to stand up and fight. You understand? And don't go back to that sinful world. Come on, read. Whether it be by life, what? Whether it be by life, whether it be by life, like yesterday, a brother gets shot. You understand? Just come out, want to go to the congregation, and two men pull up. And ask him, what you want to do? You're going to go and prophesy? And they say, yes. He shot. A brother. You understand? The boss, I said, these things going to happen. Come on, read. Or by death. Or what? Or by death. So, brother, they cannot kill you. The only time we're supposed to have a problem, brother, if the man who kill you, he can kill your spirit also. You understand? He cannot kill. If the man cannot kill your spirit, he only can kill the flesh. Don't scare him. You understand? Come on, read. For to me to live is Christ. What? For to me to live is Christ. For to we to live, we have to have the mindset. You understand? Do Christ die for you? Huh? Which one are you willing to lay down your life for Christ? You understand? For real. You have to face the same thing what he faced, bro. Come on. 
And to die is gain. And what? To die is gain. You understand that? That's why the Bible said, you want to save your life, you're going to lose it. To die, you're going to gain, bro. Come on, read. But if I live in the flesh, this is the fruit of my labor. So if you want to save this, bro, if you don't want to die, you don't want to die, bro, you're going to die. You understand? I'm, I'm talking about the death, what nobody want to face. You understand? Come on, read. Yet what I shall choose, I wot not. Mm -hmm. Come on. For I am in the strait betwixt two. That's what I'm saying, brother. Many of you don't understand. You're in the strait betwixt two. You understand? The most I give you two things. You understand? He said, pick one. What do you want? The truth? Yeah. Or you want to go back out in the sinful world? Pick it. Come on. Read. Having a desire to depart. What? Having a desire to depart. So many of you, just because you see what goes on yesterday or before, you understand? You see, they want to do us and use their, their what they want to use? They want to use tragedy. You understand? They want to use mind game on you as brothers because they know that when we wake up, there is no more harm. You understand? These are the things what I want to use on us. Come, come on. And to be with Christ. What? And to be with Christ, mm -hmm. which is far better. What? Which is far better. This is far better, bro. Bro, you don't have to wake up in the morning, no nine to five. You don't have to have worry so the bills have to pay, bro. Bro, you would no more see that, bro. You don't have to have worry my cars and, oh, it want the rims and it want, it, it want an engine. No, you don't have to worry about that, bro. We're going to have vehicle what don't need gas. We're going to have vehicle what don't, you're not going to break down, brother. Come on, read. Nevertheless, uh -huh. to abide in the flesh is more needful for you. What? To abide in the flesh is more needful for you. To abide in the flesh. You understand? That's why the most I say, precious in the death of his sins. For you to be here, bro, and still in this flesh is what? More needful for you. It's more needful because you have to go it up in the morning. You have to buy soap. You have to wash up. Your, all these things, bro. You have to pay bills. Come on, read. And having this confidence, mm -hmm. I know that I shall abide and continue with you all for your furtherance Come on. and joy of faith. Come on, read. That your rejoicing may be more abundant in Jesus Christ for me by my coming to you again. So these are the things that I want to pull out to you, brother, to understand. So you're rejoicing. You're supposed to set your mind when these things happen to you. You're supposed to rejoice more and get closer to Christ. Don't back out. Come on, read. Only let your conversation be as it becometh the gospel of Christ. Come on. That whether I come and see you mm -hmm. or else be absent, I may hear of your affairs, that ye stand fast in one spirit. That's what God wants you to do, brethren. Don't, uh, don't, don't, don't speak. Don't speak like oh, the other nation wants us to speak. They want us, they want to catch us in our talk, bro. Don't speak like that. Stay in the Bible. That's what the Bible just tell you when you read verse 26. Come on. With one mind. What? With one mind. With one mind. Striving together for the faith of the gospel. These are what we are here to strive together for the faith of the gospel. But many of you, do you brothers ready for that? Do you brother ready for that to, to strive in the what? Faith, the faith of the, the gospel. gospel. No, I don't think so. Watch this. Watch this. Give me Romans 5. Verse 1 and 3. Understand because we, we brothers are supposed to come to our mindset and understand the brethren. When these things come, you're supposed to be glory of yourself. Come on. Romans chapter 5 and verse 1. Mm -hmm. Therefore, being justified by faith, mean justified by faith, come on. We have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ. You understand because many of you say you have faith. You understand? But these things are going to show you if you have faith. Read. By whom also we have access by faith into this grace wherein we stand. Come on. And rejoice in hope of the glory of God. Mm -hmm. And not only so. And not only so, brethren. Not only that. You understand? But watch this. Come on. But we glory in tribulations. Which one are you when you when your trial come, you glory in it? Which one are you? I don't see no hand. No hand. When your tribulation come, none of you, bro. You start to think like, you start to think, what? Worldly, you understand? We have to start to think spiritual because the most I tell you, we support the glory in tribulation, not try to fight and try to, to catch spirit. We support the glory in it. You understand? Come on, also knowing that tribulation worketh patience. These are the things, my brother. You understand? Many of us we don't have patience, bro. We don't have no patience. As your trial came, the first thing you started to think, where you started to think, evil. You understand? You start to think evil. What about if the most I work through that brother to purify you to get that goal out of you, bro? 
these are the things we don't even understand. The most I work through him to get you right. He don't get no trial yet. You most I work on you through him. That's why I put you through that. The most I say you're supposed to glory when that tribulation came. You see what I'm saying? Come on. And patience experience. And what? Patience experience. That's when the younger brother came in, you brothers can teach them. You understand? Say, yeah, I go through that. You understand? Because these things are going to happen to you. That's when the next brother comes. You're going to fall in the same track. That's you can balance him up and tell him, listen, bro, I go through that for how much years? I did follow the first start. I would have been out there in the sinful world. I would have stand up and see where the most I take in me. You understand? Give me Acts 14, verse 22. Watch this. Give me that. Everybody always read this. It's, it's a regular verse, what brothers know. Watch this. Read it for me. Acts 14, Acts 14 and verse 22. Uh -huh. Confirming the souls of the disciples. God, no, no, the most I want to confirm in you, brothers. The soul, what really, really in you. Come on. And exhorting them. And what the most I said, that's the only way I'm going to exalt in you. Come on. And to continue in the faith. And the most I tell us to tell you, brother, to continue in the faith. Come on. And that we must, through much tribulation, enter into the kingdom. That's what God telling us, bro. God telling us, if you want to get on the other side, if you want the kingdom, bro, you have to go through much tribulation. You understand? So when a brother, might be a brother says something about you, you understand? You're not reason and might be come across you and say something different. You have to examine yourself, brother. You know you never say that to the brother. You wonder, oh, the brother come across you like that. We're going to run off. No, bro. You have to examine yourself. Much tribulation, you get the kingdom. What's oh, going to happen, bro? You ain't talking to no sinful brothers out there in the street. You understand? Because none of them going to bring no judgment to you. None of them going to judge you according to the, to the Bible. Because they don't know this. If the brother will sit beside you, that's that all these things going to come to you, bro. Real talk. Romans 8, verse 18 and 19. Watch this. So these are the things, brother. If you want the kingdom, you have to go through much tribulation. You understand? And when you go through your much tribulation and you, you're still here, the most I say, okay. Now you have patience. Now you have experience. Now you're all built up. You understand? Come on. Romans chapter 8 and verse 18. Uh -huh. For I reckon that the sufferings of the present time are not worthy to be compared with the glory which shall be revealed in us. This suffering we got you with your brother, bro. Nobody using a whip and no stick eating you, bro. You understand? The most I said, this struggling we got you for this present time is what? For I reckon that the sufferings of the present time are not worthy to be compared with the glory which shall be revealed in us. You see what I'm saying? The most I say, you don't even understand, brother. You understand what's going to happen? What going to take place, brother, if you go through this trial, bro? Come on. For the earnest expectation of the creature waiteth for the manifestation of the sons of God. The most I are ready for you, brother, waiting for you. You have to go to your trial and your tribulation because everybody what? Come to the two, bro. If they were still here, bro, we'd have close to the number. We'd have close to the number, the 144, with the most I looking for, bro. But as the trial came, what they started to think? They started to think evil against brother. I don't even understand. That's all the most I work. The most I work through you. You understand? The most I will use you for try him. You understand? For real. Whether him are gold, or him are wood, or him are silver, the most I gonna use you for try him, bro. That's all the most I work, bro. You understand? Watch this. Give me that. Give me 1 Corinthians 4, verse 17. No, 2 Corinthians 4 and 17. Read that really quick. 1 Corinthians chapter 4 and verse 17. Mm -hmm. For our light affliction, which is but for a moment. What? Which is but for a moment. Your trial is just for a moment, but you're gonna, you feel like your trial is going to be forever. No, it's just for a moment, bro, to get you straight. Come on. Work it for us. A far more exceeding and eternal weight of glory. Come on. While we look not at the things which are seen, but at the things which are not seen. These are the, that, that's all our spiritual eyes have to start opening up, bro. We have to look at the things what you cannot see. You have to start looking at it for real. You understand? For real. It, cause remember, bro, your blessing come to what? When you go to your tribulation. That's all you get blessing. Your blessing don't come like somebody undoubt and give you no money. You understand? Your blessing come to when you go to your trial. You understand your tribulation with what? Each other's. That's all your blessing come, bro. You understand? You finish that? More on that. Come on. For the things which are seen are tem temporal. What? For the things which are seen are temporal. This kingdom we're seeing is temporal, bro. You understand? Because we've been here what, over 400 years and they come like, the 400 years, they come like, it's forever, bro. 
The most high. It's just 400 years ago. But it looked like we've been here forever. You understand? Come on. But the things which are not seen are eternal. That's what we are lo looking for, bro. You understand? For real. Right. You don't even understand. You understand? You don't even understand all the most I work. The most I work through him to get you right. You understand? These are the things like that. And might be, when you go to the judgment seat, if you're still here, might be he left. You understand? But don't let nobody get your glory in this world, bro. Because that's what brothers are here for. I tell you, that brother wasn't right. You understand? Because the devil wrote to him, forget to you. You understand? You don't even understand that. For real. So give me, give me 1 Peter 1 verse 6 and 7. 1 Peter chapter 1 and verse 6. Mm -hmm. Wherein ye greatly rejoice, though now for a season. What? You, Virgin, you want to just rejoice just for a season? I want to read that forever. Come on. If need be, ye are in heaviness through manifold temptations. Mm -hmm. Come on. That the trial of your faith being much more precious than of gold and perishes. <laughs> you never understand, brother. But the most I tell you, your trial of your faith is much more better, bro. So you sit down here and nobody never yet say nothing about you, bro. You feel like you're good? You don't good, bro. You have to go to trial, bro. You have to go to trial. You see that? Give me that Job real quick. Let me show you this real quick. Job 23 verse 10. What the most I really want out of you, bro. You understand? Watch this. What Job said out of his own mouth. Because remember, none of you ever lose your seven sons and your, your three daughter yet. Many of you don't even have one kid yet. You understand? Many of you never go to no child, bro. Many of you just cannot pay your bill and you like, you don't even want to come to school. You, you cannot pay your rent. But you, but you still have a roof over your head. You understand? Your landlord don't put you out. You understand? But you all look at us when we miss you for four or five weeks. Oh, bro, I was going to. What? Can I pay your bills? You're, do You're not under a shelter, bro. But they don't even understand what the most they try to do. You watch this. Read that for me. Job chapter 23 and verse 10. Mm -hmm. But he knoweth the way that I take. The most I know everywhere we take, bro. What we do, what we said to ourselves when we're driving or we think, we we'll look to the clock a glass and we see somebody, a woman walking on the street. The most I know how you think. You know everything about you, bro. Come on. When he tried me. What? When he tried me. When he tried you. You tried, your trial come to when you go through tribulation, bro. Come on. I shall come forth as gold. If you don't go to your trial, bro, Jim, that means you wasn't no gold. You were just sitting in here. We feel like say, every one of us have gold in here. You ain't no gold. The most I said, when you get tried, you're supposed to come out. Like gold. That infirmity is supposed to burn out. You understand? And so, oh, brother, brother, yeah. I seen God through his trial before, and he's still here. For real, these are the things what the most I'm looking for. The most I want you to go through a trial. You understand? You don't go through no trial. Don't even talk about the kingdom yet, bro. You understand? Proverbs 17, verse 3. Don't even talk about no, no kingdom. You have to go through a trial. You have to go through a trial for you to get. You can talk to brothers and say, yeah, brother, I go through this. Yeah? Brother said, yeah? How you do it? These are the things what you want to talk. When you sit down with brothers, these are the things. You have to ask them. Come on, read. Proverbs chapter 17 and verse 3. Uh -huh. The finding pot is for silver. What? The finding pot is for silver. The finding pot is for silver. Come on. And the furnace for gold. What? And the furnace for gold. You never understand that, brother. The most I want you to go through that furnace. He want you to go through that furnace because he want to know if we are real gold. That's right. You understand? So you want to take it a different way, bro. It ain't going to work no other way, bro. You want it to be smooth. You understand? You want to be like, okay, I'm holier than thou. Not in here. In the Christian church. But as long as you're in here, you're going to get tried. You understand? But the most I tell you, read what? Bro, one more time again. The, fi the finding pot is for silver. Mm -hmm. And the furnace for gold. I must tell you the furnace is for gold. Because that's what Job said. When you tried, you're supposed to come out being as a gold. That's what gold, Job said. Romans 2 and 7. You understand? I praise to the most high. You understand for real? So, I just have one more scriptures. You understand for real? One more scriptures. I pray your brothers and your sister get something out of this class. You understand for real? Come on, read it for me real quick. Romans chapter 2 and verse 7. Mm -hmm. To them... Who by patient continuance and well doing seek for glory and honor and immortality. That's what I'm working for, bro. You understand? I want that immortality. I want to 
have that body. Which one are you? You, you don't want to go through this to get that body? I want to go through this to get that body. So with that, Israel, I pray your brothers and your sister get something out of this class. With that, we're going to say shalom. Mosa and Christ bless. We used to scream black power while Haram was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.